La Salle. Catholic boys' school in the La Sallean tradition to educate the last, the least and the lost. A thousand boys, 89% of those are Pacifica. Science, it guides our society in regards to technology, the future, our job market. 2003 to 2007, academically our results were not strong. So when I started teaching here, we were um, six students in chemistry, uh, similar amounts in physics. We had as many uh, health and PE classes as we did science classes. Year 11, science was not compulsory, and it didn't take me long to realise that that had a huge impact on where our boys could go at the end of their schooling. It's going to revolutionise our communities from what we currently sit in. We needed to do a complete rethink and rewrite of what we were presenting to the students and how it was packaged. So we went about rewriting our schemes of work, our unit planning, and really just rewrote everything from scratch. So we had a plan from year seven all the way to year 13 that would engage the students in the sciences. So we don't have a fixed and a constant amount of dissolved oxygen in, in, in all the water mass, so it will constantly change as the water is flowing. We became student driven in terms of what we presented, um, and the idea was that whatever was given in class would have a real world context that they could latch onto. We've now got classes bursting at the seams. We now have two level two physics classes. We've got 30 students sitting in level three chemistry. So we're going to do elephant's toothpaste and we've also got some concentrated hydrogen peroxide. I had a real high expectation of the staff in terms of how we um, engaged with the students. They had to be passionate about their own subject. They had to be subject experts. And good swirl. So we ensure that they receive the professional development that they required. The boys thrive off the passion of the staff. Even though the subject may be hard and there may be difficult times, the minute your teacher looks at you and says, you got this, you can do it, that just changed the whole world again. Our unit planning and the schemes of work that we present to the students each year at every year level is on a continual review process. So what colour are we looking for? Oh, purple, yeah. They work really hard to make the links between the learning that they're doing in class and what they need to be doing at the next level up and the next level up and then ultimately out at university and then out at work. And so now do we have more acid or base in our beaker? Base. I think the main thing is we get to figure out why and how things work. Um, without science then we'd be clueless. Everything involves science, like how things work and physics and stuff like that. Sustainability, looking after our creek as well. The boys are also involved in the schools and Viro Council and we work deeply with Auckland Council with sustainability projects. We've planted over a thousand trees. In the Monaco Harbour, we got involved with water testing, the streams leading into it. Three years ago we made science as compulsory for boys right up to year 11. We have a a big percentage of our boys who are our top achievers who are wanting to go into health and medicine, setting up the Health Science Academy, that's made a huge difference. A wonderful opportunity to experience three sciences, particularly in the last two years of school, and boys see it as a privilege. Three, two, one. Our Health Sciences Academy engages our students with Middlemore Hospital, the Auckland Health Board and the Waitamata Health Board and County's Manukau DHB. Those boys who track all the way through with the Health Sciences have basically been guaranteed work in the Health Sciences in County's Manukau. Uh, definitely Bachelor's in Health Science and hopefully beyond that into Medicine and Surgery. Okay, are you aware of the um, requirements for the Bachelor of Science Biomed? Now the possibilities are broad. Um, and the possibilities around engineering and around um, health and medicine and in fact around electrical. So many different trades too require physics. The possibilities are endless really now. So he's, he's doing very well in his sciences and his maths, which is, which is what he needs for Otago. The parental community, they know that their son is going to be looked after. So I've noticed here that his lower grade is from English and so wondering whether we need to put a bit of support around him and whether we need to approach his English teacher. The work that we're doing here at De La Salle Mangere is guiding our students into careers where they'll help their own families and help their own communities later. It's about being able to pick and select 
the jobs rather than being um, accepting of a job. We're following up with kids one year, two year into their tertiary study and going, you're still there, is it still working? This is actually like pastoral care into their early 20s. At one stage, we had five past pupils of De La Salle College actually working directly across the road at Middlemore Hospital as doctors. What's wonderful is we do bring all those old boys back to speak. The boys are achieving at a rate above the national standard in New Zealand and, and more on the line of, of this old 8, 9, 10 schools. Where to from here? The key thing is, are they going to be able to manage in a very rapidly changing world? If we can provide that path for them, and they feel confident stepping out those gates into the world, and we've done our job. The acid has been neutralised by the sodium hydroxide, which is the base. Awesome.